Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Scorpio. So if you're a Scorpio sun, moon, rising, Venus, not known, or if you have a stellium in Scorpio, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. So in this reading, if you're in no contact, no communication with this person, if there's a separation that has happened here, or if this person just ghosted you, you know, left you without any sort of explanation, then this reading is going to be for you. We are going to take a look into this person's current thoughts, feelings, true intentions. How are they seeing you and their possible actions? So this is going to be an energy check-in on this person. Yeah, the three of pentacles and the ace of pentacles at the bottom of this deck and we have the knight of cups and the nine of swords with that ace of wands yeah a cycle has closed here and someone wants a new beginning after the uh, cycle has ended it's very possible this person is actually thinking of making an offer towards you with that ace of pentacles and the knight of cups but they are overthinking a lot they are in their mind a lot they are sleepless nights anxiety all of those things this is uh, someone who's not in a good mental state right now. And this is, yeah, they are overthinking. This person is scared of approaching you for some reason or other. We do have the high priestess here. The high priestess and the emperor, yeah, can be a very intimidating energy. So if this is the kind of energy you are in right now, yes, then this person is a bit intimidated by you and makes sense. Um, you are a, a Scorpio after all. You are water sign. And that too, a Scorpio. Of course, you are highly intuitive. Plus, you are fixed uh, water. So, yeah, emperor can be that very stubborn energy. So, stubbornness plus that um, highly intuitive. Yeah, this person could very well be intimidated by you. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, um, Aries, or fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. Let's see. Yeah, this person is of cups and the six of wands this is mutual love knight of cups can be an offer of love too since we do have the two of cups and the knight of cups here because cups are all about emotions justice you could be dealing with a libra Judgment, second chances, judgment and justice. There could have been a separation between both, the both of you. Last shuffle. All right, let's see. So we have the four of cups, the nine of pentacles, the fool and the moon. This is that insecurity again, that insecurity, that fear again. You could be dealing with an Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, but yeah. Queen of Cups, Judgment, Ace of Swords. The Empress, ooh, the Empress and the Ten of Cups was peeping. 
So this is Taurus Libra energy. We did see the Emperor, right? Yeah. Now the Empress. Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups, okay, King of Cups, so we have the King and the Queen of Cups, you could be dealing with another water sign here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, as I said that we have the High Priestess, bottom of the deck we have Hermit, so a high priestess is Pisces, Hermit is Virgo, Virgo and Pisces axis is counterpart axis. You also have King and Queen of Cups, which again are counterparts to each other. Page of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Eight of Swords, Magician, Page of Cups, King of Swords, yeah. You could be dealing with uh, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Aquarius. All right. This person is very, uh, whenever they think of approaching you, whenever they think of coming towards you with an offer of, with an offer of apology or a romantic offer, they get very, very uh, scared or intimidated. And this is possibly because the, the, of that nine of pentacles energy. Nine of pentacles is someone who has a lot of people. We did get at the very beginning of the reading, the nine of swords, right? I, and I did mention this person is very, in their head overthinking and a lot of anxiety and all of those negative emotions whenever they think of making an offer towards you and that is the same energy that is coming out in this person's thoughts here so whenever they think of taking that leap of faith whenever they think of coming towards you they feel like you are very bored with them they are you are over them you don't even care about them now i'm not saying that is what you truly feel about this person or truly think about this person but that is how they are seeing you right now so you are very over them. You are focused on yourself. Also, you, you are looking fine. You are looking fine. You are taking care of yourself. You're focused on your progress, on your money, on your... You're just dating, uh, dating yourself phase. That is how this person is thinking about you. So because you're in this phase, why would you give them another chance considering how they, how they already ignored you in the past? This person could have ignored you in the past and this first now they are thinking this could be the case of tables have been turned so they ignored you 
and now they feel like you are going to ignore them because you have already too many options nine of pentacles never has a shortage of any options here yeah as i just said options we have the seven of cups here seven of cups exactly talks about someone who has a lot of options you have so many options to choose from why would you choose them It, does, it just doesn't make sense to this person. This person could be trying to think very, very logically here. After all, we do have the queen of swords here. So this person is thinking very logically and the logic or their mind is telling them, well, Scorpio is looking fine. Scorpio has got everything going for them. So why would Scorpio choose someone like me? So how would it make sense me approaching Scorpio with a romantic offer? It's like you wouldn't even look at them anymore. You are so over them. Now this could be uh, this this person thinking all of this just could be stemming from the fact that they feel very low. They are right now feeling low, or they have uh, self-esteem issues. They feel low. You know, when it comes to their confidence, they're really really low right now. Or this could be this person how they truly are. They are low. They get very intimidated by someone who is. sure of themselves someone who is high value because nine of pentacles is the minor to the empress and we did see empress at one point right so yes they are intimidated by the nine of pentacles Man in reverse, nine of swords again. Yeah, the hanged man in reverse is someone who's ready to take that action. So this person in their mind, they are all they get all geared up, they get all prepared almost. Like someone is preparing to send you a message or call you or you know, text you or come towards you, even physically come towards you, maybe because the fool does talk about taking a journey. So yes, physically coming towards you. But as soon as they think that, it's like immediately this person goes into this nine of swords energy. And then they can't. They're almost like paralyzed to take any action, to take that action they were trying to feel motivated about. This person might also be lacking that motivation right now. Yeah, as I said, yeah, Ace of Wands, lacking that motivation. They're not feeling that fire. They're not feeling that passion. What on the deck we have Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords? This, both Aces, Aces always talks about new beginning and Ace of Swords is communication. Ace of Wands is that fiery, passionate, clear-cut communication. This is what this two cards together talk about. This is what they want to do. But then that moon and that nine of swords get the better of them. Their mind, their thoughts get the better of them. And they just mess up. Also, we do have three aces here, right? I mean, ace of swords, ace of cups, and the ace of wands. Or only the ace of pentacles is missing here. So we already have three aces uh, on the table. It's also very possible because we do have the Queen of Cups here. This is this person has never felt such strong emotions or feelings for someone. They feel very, very vulnerable. They, are, they, they feel very open and, and almost someone who feels very raw, you know. Like, it's very difficult for this person just to open up and be vulnerable and talk about their emotions, express their emotions. This is something this person is never used to. They're not used to this. So it's very scary for them to just open up their heart and give it to someone. That could be one of the reasons because as I said, they haven't felt such emotions for someone. 
and now the idea of opening their heart and giving it to someone it's scary for this person it's very possible in the past this person was backstabbed some past experience could be childhood could be from previous relationships that this person had which has really made this person you know be a little closed off to when it comes to love when it comes to giving their heart i don't get very a very toxic energy from this person this is someone who's scared this is more than the energy more the energy of someone who's very very scared they feel immature they feel very naive when it comes to you with the judgment judgment obviously talks about second chances reunion someone from your past coming back as i said someone from your past coming back we have ten of cups page of pentacles the emperor could be dealing with an aries Yeah, this is someone who wants to make that offer of Ten of Cups because they they, they feel this happiness with you. And uh, yeah, look at that. Queen of Cups again at the bottom of the deck and 1616. Yeah, look at that. This is what exactly I was talking about. Queen of Swords, Four of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. They are extremely scared to just be, just open up and be vulnerable and talk about their emotions because they have never done that this person has been closed off queen of swords this is the kind of person who always listens to their head than their heart and now they're supposed to express themselves to someone this is almost like very alien kind of idea for this person and yes this person's heart has been hurt that is why the four of pentacles to me as a reader it always seems like someone who is just desperately protecting their heart you know because there's literally a pentacle over the heart chakra so yes this is someone who is for the first time probably even getting in touch with their uh, own emotions with their feminine side so uh, everything is very scary for this person everything is new and scary it's almost like this is someone who's just for the first time taking those baby steps. And they're scared that they're going to fall down and hurt themselves. Um, this person could have some mother woundings. Because they might have felt like, like in their childhood, like if they fall down or if they hurt themselves, they don't have anyone to... Tell them it's going to be fine. Tell them it's going to be okay. It's also very possible that this person's parents or one parent was very, very harsh on them. Very strict, very harsh, very controlling. That is one way of getting mother wounds as well, mother or father wounds as well. Yeah, there's something feminine, uh, more than father wounds, I get there's something mother, some mother issues here, some mother wounds this person has. And now they have to come face to face with those mother woundings. Something they never thought they would be doing. Or even this person might have not never imagined they have these kind of woundings at all. Generally, we don't. Until and unless someone triggers us or, or holds a mirror in front of us, we don't understand those woundings when it comes to the true intentions also we did have the king of cups and the queen of cups queen of cups and king of cups right this is perfect match so th they truly feel and think or believe that you match them you match their energy we have the king of cups and the queen of cups we have the high priestess and the hermit counterpart counterpart queen of swords king of swords again counterpart so we have three combinations of counterpart energy here we also did see the empress at one point and then we have the emperor here so again counterpart
this person hopes and wishes that they will be able to communicate their feelings clearly and fearlessly. One day, someday, this person will be able to communicate their feelings fearlessly. They will be able to talk things clearly. Uh, this person definitely has some, you know, throat chakra blockage as well. They find it difficult to communicate. They find it difficult to express themselves. And if someone has their heart blocked, of course, they will have difficulty expressing themselves well. Because what does this person want to express to you? The Ace of Cups, the King of Cups, that they have feelings for you. Very deep feelings for you. This person also sees you as their true match here with so many counterpart energies here. They see you as a true match. So emotionally, you will you get them. You get them emotionally. They get you emotionally. You both emotionally complement each other very, very beautifully. This is how this person truly feels about this connection. And that is why this person is trying to find in this trying to find the strength and courage to open up to you. Because you will get them. They might also be very aware that you are a very, very as I was saying, the Empress and the Emperor. We have the Empress here. And we have the Emperor, which again is that counterpart energy. Right? I want to take that. And we have the King of Cups repeated here again. Yeah, some some emotional damage has happened. Some emotional damage has happened here for this person. Something in the past that has made this person emotionally blocked. You could have shown a very empathic side of yours to this person. Or this person knows that you're very, very empathic, kind. Because... If this person saw that Queen of Cups side of yours, Queen of Cups is very sweet, nurturing, uh, caring, someone, I heard non-judgmental. I don't see the Queen of Cups as a non-judgmental person, but this person sees you as someone who's, who was very non-judgmental towards them. It's possible that you, this person, they, they see you as someone who's going to be, you know, who's going to listen to them, hear out to them, without making fun of them, without judging them, or without being harsh on them. As I said, right, that mother wounding. So if their parent, especially if their mother was in their childhood, very harsh, very cold, very detached, very almost like ruthless and controlling towards them, they see you as someone who's very opposite to that energy. And that is why they feel like they can open up to you. They can be vulnerable when it comes to you. And that is what they want to talk about. They want to actually open up and express their emotions. But if you have been blocked emotionally for years, and if you have run away from em your emotions for years, it doesn't happen overnight. This is a very difficult procedure, opening up your heart again. Mm, look at that. Judgment, four of wands. They want to tell you how happy they feel with you. This person also could be going through some sort of spiritual transformation, spiritual awakening here. Because of that um, hermit and the judgment at the bottom of the deck. You already have the judgment here, right? So yeah, the judgment wise, the hermit, this person could be going through some sort of spiritual awakening. If not outright spiritual awakening, epiphanies. And I, I did, I was talking about mother wounding, right? You generally notice these things, understand these things once you start going through the proce uh, process of spiritual awakening. You know, dark night of the soul, shadow work and all of those things. That is when you understand these things better. Now, this person is keeping an eye on you. They are stalking you because I heard they can't help it. So, yeah. But how they see you, uh, they see you as someone who's very blocked towards them. As I said, this person did hurt you. They did hurt you. 
some way or the other it could simply be that they were not trusting you at all they didn't trust you they pushed you away they ignored you they were acting cold and detached towards you there's mirroring energy here so because they were acting cold and detached towards you now you are behaving cold and detached towards them now you have detached yourself from them they also see you as someone who's busy manifesting new stuff here you much more you you were the one who was open, vulnerable, kind, nurturing, caring person like that Queen of Cups kind of energy. And they were more like this King of Swords energy. But now that evils have turned and now they want to be vulnerable, they want to be open, but they see you as someone who is very cold and detached from them. So if this person might feel like if they come towards you with an apology, with an offer, they're going to be met with a very cold detached or cold answer a cold response towards them this person might also feel like they made you feel very very stuck they caused you a lot of pain because bottom of the deck is 10 of swords so they caused you a lot of pain. They made you feel stuck. They gave you anxiety. So yes, why would you give them any more chance? Because now you are the nine of pentacles. And you have good things coming towards your, your way. The magician can manifest anything they want. So you do have good things coming your way. So why would you focus on them anymore? They disappointed you way too much. They disappointed you over and over again, even if it's possible. So now you have chosen another path. Now you've chosen something else. This person might also think that you already have another option and you have already chosen them. You might also see you as someone who's maturing with that page of cups and the king of swords because you were very open receptive naive or almost naive towards them initially you were very you because the page of cups he's literally offering it's a sweet little offer of offering their cup and that fish is popping up towards this person you offered your heart to this person but they rejected you they played with played it sorry Played with your heart, pushed you away, ignored you, ignored this beautiful offer. So now you have become very cold and detached with that King of Swords. So a maturing. They also see you much more in your, they see you much more in your masculine energy rather than your feminine energy. So yeah, the King of Swords is very intimidating. It's more intimidating than the Queen of Swords because the Queen of Swords, at least she has her hand open, right? So she is open to any sort of communication. But the King of Swords, his hand is very like restricted, closed off. But yeah, they, they want to work on this connection. They want to work on themselves and they want to want this reunion. They want this chance with you, with the Three of Cups. see some messages my gosh I'm sorry I'm getting so excited here I was so deprived of feminine touch in my life to feel safe and nurtured I'm no longer afraid of this and I'm ready to embrace it the Empress. This is the energy I was exactly picking up. Some mother wounding. Something happened in their childhood regarding their mother or, or, or grandmother or something feminine. Some feminine energy. 
but definitely i get him that mother wounding the mother did not make this person this person's mother did not make them feel safe and nurtured and secure the empress energy but they see you as someone different someone completely different you are not that person so they can open up to you so they can um be vulnerable when it comes to you and you're not going to reject that those emotions you're not going to make them feel guilty of expressing their emotions sorry my all of my cards just no 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 my gosh these cards are so slippery family is very dear to me and i want you as part of it but also to build a new one in which i can provide for all of your needs ten of pentacles and we did have the eight of pentacles that is what i said this person wants to build they want to work on this i'm learning how to control my life from within and not with external acts and forces i feel this is the only way i can be your match strength finding the strength to overcome those woundings those past woundings every time we get past past our arguments and get on the same page this is a spelling mistake here past our arguments and get on the same page i feel on top of the world and i succeed in all i do yeah this person wants to get past whatever has happened here between the both of you and start fresh also the page of cups since i met you this was at the bottom of the deck since i met you i started receiving creative ideas to start new projects and i can't wait to share them with you new ideas new new this is the feminine energy right uh ideas and everything are always feminine energy I'm aware of the damage I caused you and I know I wasted so much of your time maybe it's better to stay away from you this is that insecurity I'm worried that it will be too late to make things right with you yeah fear of losing you I understand everything clearly now can we just stop fighting and talk peaceful resolution why is everything so intense when it comes to this connection yeah a lot of counterpart energy so yeah you you are each other's match i felt like i didn't deserve your affection kindness love and nurture so i pushed you away and this is what i was exactly talking about they pushed this page of cups away and we do have the page of cups here right and we did get the page of cups since i met you a lot of creative yes you sparked something in this person something good i need to be much more confident to be with you exactly and that is what they're working on i know it's silly to want to be with you but be scared at the same time 
Well, that's your reading, Scorpio. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.